Hey, I'm Amy and welcome or welcome back and today it is the end of the month which means it is time for a haul. This is a small one so I will make it very very quick. I got something from work, a vinyl, a couple criterions, and a Marvel movie. You can probably guess which one. I will start with the vinyl first mostly because it is very shiny. I want to do it quick so you don't see how messy my apartment is in the reflection. But if you know me at all, you know that I love the band All Time Low. It is one of the only bands I have or ever will get a tattoo for. And I have been looking for this vinyl for a long time. It is one of three, kind of four, since they have not released the newest album on vinyl yet, that I have been waiting to get. And that is the Dirty Work vinyl. I'm kind of holding it this way so you only see my window. But it is so shiny. I did not realize how chrome-y this would be. It's just very metallic. It's so cool. You can barely see the design on camera. It's probably mostly the reflection of my bed and Luna's bed. But it's just so cool. It looks exactly like the album cover. I should go grab that. Hold on. I guess I don't have that album here. I thought I did, which is very weird. I'm kind of confused because I know I had two different versions of that album, but yeah, I have the extended edition album, but it looks exactly like that. I just have the blue one with the bonus tracks on it. This red version is the original artwork but i love it i know this is not their most favorite one it is a very studio album but i love that they finally released it the vinyl is so cool the pressing is amazing one side it's red and white splatter and then on the other side it's black and white with a little bit of red splatter it looks so cool i am so glad to finally have this I'm just dying next is the blu-ray from work well it's actually a blu-ray 4k and that is Bubba Hotep they released this maybe a year before I started and I was never able to get the original blu-ray but they did the 4k release and I had to grab it I've never seen it but I love Bruce Campbell and I have been wanting to watch this for so long, I just never looked up to see if it was streaming anywhere. So now I will finally be able to watch it. It is the 4K version. There's the front and the back. Next is a special-ish, it says Cinematic Universe Edition on it, but this is the Wakanda Forever. I don't know if this cover is specifically for Disney Movie Club. I got it at Disney Movie with the Disney Movie Club discount because it was cheaper to get the Disney Movie Club discount than to get this same version through Target with my Target Red card. I also got this free lenticular of the Dora Milaje, which is kind of the reason I don't usually care about the lenticulars, but I do love the Dora Milaje. I thought this was pretty cool to maybe add to the stack of lenticulars that is hiding somewhere in my apartment. But this one is so cool. The cover, just like the all-time low vinyl, is very shiny and reflective. There is the back and the, ends. the slip is the exact same. I did not like this as much as Wakanda or as the first Black Panther. You can check out my review up there if I remember to put it up there, but yeah, this, I, I mean, it was just a really nice send off to Chadwick Boseman. I'm not going to go into all of the upset with the Oscars and how I feel about that because everyone was so talented in that. But Angela Bassett could have, should have won on that as well, but it's also sort of Stephanie Shu. Anyways, I said I wasn't going to go into it, but yeah, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. And now our two criterions. The first one is The Lady Eve with Barbara Stanwyck. I watched this movie recently and I got these two on a like 40% off, 30, 40% off sale on Criterion for Valentine's Day, which I know was like a month ago, but I got these after I did my last haul. But I had watched this right before that sale happened and there was a specific quote that Barbara Stanwyck said in this. I don't remember it off the top of my head. I could look it up. But there's a specific quote that she says that just made me laugh so hard and I 
don't usually like romantic comedies. I don't like romance movies, but I just, I had to buy this because of that quote and how great Barbara Stanwyck is in this film. And the other one I bought during that sale was Bringing a Baby, which I am trying to get every Cary Grant film that is on Criterion. I think I'm almost there. I don't remember how many there is left for me to get, but also this is about Cat, 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 it, the, can I talk? It also has Katherine Hepburn in it, who I love, who doesn't love Katherine Hepburn. And also it is about the two of them bringing up a leopard named Baby. So yeah, I love this movie. I don't love this movie. It's not my favorite of either of them. It's not my favorite with both of them in it, especially. I mean, the Philadelphia story is just chef's kiss. But I do love the fact that it's the two of them and it's got a big cat in it. And we all know I love cats. So that's why I grabbed this one. But that is a very, very quick haul for you guys this month. Next week, next month will probably be fairly short as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys got this month in the comments down below. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really, truly do appreciate you, whoever you are. Let me know who you are in the comments down below. And let's be friends. If you enjoyed this, leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Because I love talking about things, movies, TV shows, filmmaking, film history, all the fun stuff. And I'll see you next time. Bye.